So I actually genuinely love winter. So when it comes to getting dressed for winter, I have kind of an easy time. And that's only because my husband who loves to be outside and he's very sporty, he's kind of taught me a few tricks along the way on how to dress appropriately for the winter. His knowledge combined with my passion for styling outfits has kind of taught me how to dress properly for winter. And now I don't dread it at all. I actually really look forward to winter. I love walking outside when it's snowing. So I'm gonna be sharing some tricks with you here on how you could dress appropriately for the winter for yourself. I feel like this kind of goes without saying, although I know that some of my friends don't necessarily do this. And that's quite simply to wear thermal layers Thermal layers will just make sure that you don't have to wear all these bulky clothes, bulky sweaters, bulky pants and all that stuff. And it just provides that extra layer of warmth, especially when the temperatures are sub-zero out there. And I think it's gonna be a really cold winter. So let's just make sure that we're wearing our thermal layers. Uniqlo Heat Tech makes really good stuff. They have everything from warm to extra warm. So make sure you check them out if you're interested in picking up some affordable thermal layers. It goes without saying that having natural fabrics such as wool, cashmeres, um, anything like that will also keep us really nice and insulated and warm as well. I know that the Margiela sweater that I was wearing in the previous outfit and the Jill Sander wool beanie are something that I picked up at Essence during the last sale season. And it's that time again where Essence is having their sale. This is my favorite time of year. This is where I go nuts. This is where like my wish list really comes together. Everything that I have on my wish list is here. It's basically crop jacket, tabby boots, uh, gold earrings, um, an Ohm Girls blazer, and a navy Jill Sander scarf because I have that Jill Sander navy beanie and I want the scarf to match with it. If you're looking to add anything to your wardrobe, if you have any gaps to fill, if you have anything that you want to add to your winter wish list, this is the time where you can go shop and save some money, especially with the holidays around the corner. That being said, I do have some things on my wish list for my husband, so I'm going to see how the sales go and then shop for him accordingly. So thank you Essence for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into the looks. In addition to thermal layers, one of my favorite things to wear during the winter season is fleece because it really does keep you warm and it keeps all that body heat nice and insulated. This acne fleece was actually on the Essence sale last time around. The beanie is also acne and these are one of the beanies that I would highly recommend for the winter because that wool does fold over three times which means that if your ears, if you're like me and your ears get really cold in the winter time, these beanies really keep that heat in your head and it keeps you nice and warm and toasty. So highly recommend these beanies. They're really worth the money. For any of my regular viewers, I'm back in my normal setup. So I'm sure that a lot of you are happy to see my cats in this video. So there's little Theo. Um, okay, going back to the fashion, I am wearing an Ohm Girls wool coat here. This is the coat that I recently bought for myself from the Essence sale. I've actually had this on my wish list all season long, like since Essence started stocking Ohm Girls. So I'm thrilled to add it to my wardrobe because it's definitely the kind of coat that I can dress up and dress down. And I feel like it really makes a nice impact on all of my outfits. I'm gonna be talking about dressing for milder winter weather and more extreme winter weather here. And for a more mild day, I can definitely get away with putting on a thick fleece, a pair of leggings, and then a nice pair of cozy boots. These ones are from Cougar. And what I like is that not only are they ridiculously warm and ridiculously comfortable, they're also waterproof, which as we know is very important when it's winter outside because you never know if it's gonna be raining, slushing, or snowing. So a water waterproof boot is key. Now if I'm dressing for a milder day, I can definitely get away with a lighter jacket like a trench coat. But if it's a colder day, then I would do a thicker fleece like this one from the North Face. And I actually got this one on the Essence sale last winter. And it is like one of my favorite sweaters ever for extreme winter weather because it's so, so warm. But I would wear this fleece, a pair of leggings, those cozy boots that are waterproof. And then I would also put on a wool jacket over top to keep me warm. This is a combination that I actually tried last February when I was up in Quebec. I was doing some racetrack driving with Porsche and it was so much fun, but it was extremely, extremely cold that day. And um, I had on pretty much a similar combo to this and I felt really warm. And that day was freezing. It was 
yeah, it was really cold. I'll insert some pictures for you here. I just want to stress the importance of wearing those thermal layers when it's really cold, when it's sub zero temperatures outside, because that's really what's going to keep you warm. So fleece, anything like cashmere, having a turtleneck, making sure that your neck is protected, making sure that your head is protected as well to keep the body heat in. Um, have a pair of boots that are warm. Uniqlo Heat Tech does offer socks and I find them to be really warm, but having good boots with grip and that are insulated is also key to making sure that you're staying warm when it's extremely cold out so a lot of the looks that i'm featuring are more like they're they're cold weather looks however when we're talking about like freezing freezing definitely think about making sure that your entire body is protected so that you don't get frostbite by the way that was some winter driving that i did with porsche last year or actually it was this year it was 2022 and it was so much fun like i love my cars and i love porsche cars so to be able to drive 911s on the ice was incredible and to really push the limit and understand what winter driving was all about it was like a dream come true but anyway going back into the looks um here i'm just wearing a little monochrome moment i have these tencel uh trousers from the frankie shop and they're that really nice lightweight ten tencel fabric that's excellent for summer however when it comes to wearing a trouser like this in the winter time wearing thermal layers again is going to be key to making sure that you keep warm so you can definitely take some summer appropriate pants and move them into winter as long as you're layering properly along the way so this is a funny story i recently picked up these palm angels vans edition shoes and it was so funny because i was talking to my best friend michael and i happened to mention to him I've always wanted something Palm Angels. However, I haven't found that perfect item. And then he was in LA and he happened to mention to me, have you seen those Palm Angels edition vans? And I'm like, no, I haven't. And I jumped onto the Essence website and there they were, they were on sale. They had my size left. It was just one pair left. So I was able to score these and I've been waiting to unbox them in a video. So this is the official unboxing of these Palm Angel vans. And I think these are such great shoes and it's a fun addition to my wardrobe. Now, seeing as these are sneakers, they're not insulated, they're not waterproof or anything like that. This is definitely the kind of look that I would wear on a more mild winter day, as long as it's dry out because I wouldn't want to ruin these shoes. So this look is very cozy. It's um, slightly oversized. I have that gorgeous wool coat from Ohm Girls over top. That cashmere knit keeps my neck warm and it's also very cozy because I don't like to wear a lot of my more expensive designer bags in the winter time I would just use this one from Uniqlo Jill Sander from 2021 if it was a mild winter day then I can definitely get rid of that wool coat over top and throw on this lighter jacket from Luxton this is a Canadian brand they are women owned and they also make really amazing snowsuits their entire outerwear collection is actually super cool and I wore one of their snowsuits earlier this year when I was up in Quebec my husband was skiing I wasn't I just wanted to get outside and enjoy this really amazing waterfall that we happen to come across and I wore that snowsuit and let me tell you I was warm, I was comfortable, I was cozy, and it was really windy that day. Let me just say that I haven't always loved winter. I used to despise winter more than anything in the world, but after visiting Iceland for a few times, it, it just completely converted me. And I realized that there's no such thing as bad weather. It's just bad clothing. So if you're dressed appropriately, you can go outside and enjoy the elements and really have fun all year round. Don't let a little bit of snow or some sub-zero temperature stop you. Just get out there and enjoy life. And now it's time for a little beauty break. It only seems appropriate that I feature human race because Essence actually sent over this routine three minute facial pack. I'm a big fan of Pharrell's and I've actually been wanting to try his line, Human Race. So here we go. Here are my thoughts on this collection. 
The first thing that I tried was this rice powder cleanser and I did it as the second step in my cleansing routine. The first thing that I do is I remove all of my makeup with usually an oil-based product. I did try something like this before from Tatcha and I really liked it because the little granules exfoliate my skin so nicely and it always leaves it feeling really smooth after. I do have a bit of texture on my forehead and on my chin. So using a cleanser like this, I find really helps keep that texture away. So let's just read what Human Race has to offer and this is directly from the Essence website. Human Race's skincare line proposes multi-step routines with gentle, cruelty-free products suitable for all skin types. Products are formulated from a simple set of vegan ingredients such as rice powder, glycolic acid, and snow mushroom extract and come in sleek, refillable packaging crafted from recycled materials. Okay, so this is a humidifying cream and it's 2.1 ounces or 62 milliliters, which is a standard size for face cream in my opinion. As you can see that there is a refill. This one features snow mushroom, squalane, and I'm assuming that it's not shark derived, but actually uh, vegan because it's a vegan line. Uh, hyaluronic acid and tiger leaf extract. It is suitable for all skin types and it's also fragrance free. I'm so far very, very impressed with uh, Human Race. I think that the skincare line is really good. And if you're looking for a really nice exfoliator, definitely try out that Lotus Enzyme Exfoliator because you just put it on your skin for two to three minutes and it leaves your skin feeling really soft and hydrated after. Highly recommend this line, definitely worth checking out. Moving back into looks and outfit number nine. This look is another monochrome one. This vest is from Zara. I think it's really chic and it's cozy. I'm layering it over top of a Uniqlo Heat Tech turtleneck. I don't really consider this a thermal layer because it's not tight against the body. And if you really wanna get the maximum benefits of a thermal layer, you have to make sure that they're tight against your body because that's how you're able to retain all that body heat. So these pants are Maison Margiela and I'll link a similar pair from Essence down in the description. The trench coat is Reformation. The navy beanie is Jill Sander and the boots are from Cougar. So this is a very simple tonal look. Look number 10 is pretty much a take on the previous look. However, I wanted to show you how you can change up the vibe of your outfit by just changing out your outerwear. So previously I was wearing that cotton trench coat from Ref, and then over here I'm wearing a wool coat from Ohm Girls. The silhouette is more towards menswear and it does have that slightly oversized shoulder, which I think is really nice and suits my personal style really well. One of my favorite things to buy during the Essence sales are actually the Frankie Shop, Margiela, Jill Sander, basically any of designers that I know suit my personal style and will be long lasting pieces in my wardrobe because A, they're quality and B, they're also timeless. Whenever I'm organizing my wish list, I basically prioritize anything that's a classic, a staple, uh, something that's gonna be a long-term investment in my wardrobe at the top of my list, like this Ohm Girls wool coat, and then anything that I think maybe is too expensive and I'm willing to wait to see whether or not it sells out, those are the, the riskier items. Those get pushed to the bottom of my list. Uh, for example, these white cotton trousers from Maison Margiela, it's definitely not a, the kind of piece that I would have paid full price for and that's why I move it to the bottom of my list. And then I wait to see, is it gonna be like 50% off, 70% off, 80% off, and then I go from there. So that's basically how I handle the sales. I do love designer stuff. However, I do not love paying full price. I will on occasion, but for the most part, I like looking for sales and bargains and making sure that I am saving money along the way. By the way, that previous look is something that I would wear on a milder winter day, maybe early winter, late fall. If it gets cold, then I can definitely introduce this light puffer jacket from Luxton, and I can layer a thermal underneath that turtleneck so that I don't have a draft uh, with that crop sweater going on because that's definitely a no-no. If it's like sub-zero temperatures, I would not be wearing a crop sweater. 
By the way, if you're like me, you hate feeling that cold air on your face and around your neck, then just grab a really big wool scarf, wrap it around your neck, and that'll instantly fix it. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok. I'm pretty much everywhere. Thank you again for watching. Thank you, Essence, for sponsoring this video, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.